Sniper down! Sniper down! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Call of Duty mobile video. So a lot of people have been wondering what is the best four finger claw custom layout to use on Call of Duty mobile. In this video I'm going to show you the best layout and the best custom settings to use to be able to improve your skills. But before I do that, I'm giving away 5,000 free Call of Duty Mobile points just for you guys. All you have to do is be subscribed, hit a like on this video, and the giveaway is going to be in the last stream at the end of this month. So without further ado, boys, enjoy the video. I hope it helps. Let's get into it. Yeah, baby, do you so damn fine, no? Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though? I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though. When it's over, I press for wine, though. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamins in my pocket. Okay, so welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video, guys. So in this one, it's going to be a bit different. I'm going to be showing you the best sort of four-finger claw technique and button layout that I use to be a pro in Call of Duty Mobile. Simple as that. But I'm also, in this video, going to be teaching you a few tips and tricks for Android devices to be able to speed up your device and to be able to speed up the actual game Call of Duty Mobile. Okay, so starting off guys, speeding up your Android device. I've mentioned this in a video before, but I'm going to mention it again just to tell all of you new guys exactly how to speed up Android. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to open settings in your Android device. You want to scroll down to about tablet. If you click on about tablet, you will see status, legal information, software information and battery information. What you want to do is you want to click into software information and it will come up with all of your software information for your Android device. Now what you need to do is the build number just here. All you need to do is click this seven times. Okay. Once you've clicked it seven times it will come up with, if you go back into settings, scroll right to the bottom, it will come up with developer options. Now developer options are basically extra options unlocked that aren't on the actual device normally and it gives you more sort of settings that you can fiddle around to change your Android device. So you don't really need to change a lot in your Android device. I'll show you exactly what you need to change. Okay, so you need to scroll all the way down to the drawing section. Now, as you can see here, you've got Windows Animation Scale, you have Transition Animation Scale, and you have Animated Duration Scale. What you want to do, all of these are going to be set on one point, uh, one times uh, on your Android device as default. What you want to do is you want to set all of them to 0.5. This will basically make it much smoother to swipe in between stuff um, through your layouts and everything, and it will speed up your Call of Duty Mobile game. Okay, number two, you want to go back into your settings on your Android device. You want to scroll down to device care. Now, device care basically unlocks RAM and it basically frees up a lot of stuff on your device. Now, this basically, you want to do this before you even start Call of Duty Mobile. You want to do this before you start any game or even whenever you start up your device because sometimes your device will have apps running in the background such as this and all you need to do is just close them. But on the this screen right here, this will help you free up a lot of memory. And the first one you want to go into is memory. It will basically check your whole device just like this. And as you can see there, I can clean up 555 megabytes of free RAM. So if I click clean now, that will clean your device and it will smoothen up your gameplay. So it's getting rid of all the apps that I don't actually use or I've got in the background running. And that's basically it. So now I've got even more RAM available. Same as for the storage as well. You want to put clean now on the storage. I can free up 100, almost 100 megabytes of free storage on my device. So you want to do that also. Simple as that. And once that's done, you can basically, like I said, free up more space in your device and it will make it run quickly. Now, thirdly, this one's pretty self-explanatory, guys. You want to go into settings and you just want to make sure your device is always on 100% battery. So you can go to device care. Um, all you want to do is whenever you're gaming, you want to make sure your device is plugged into a charge port. If it's not, then it will lose power. But as you can see right here, I've already got 100% power. But that's basically just self-explanatory for you guys. 
Okay, now getting into the actual settings on your Android device. Now, this tutorial is going to be for four finger claw. So that means two thumbs and two forefingers. So I'm going to go into settings now and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by this. So we're going to start off with the controls. Now, with the shooting mode just here, you want to kick into this little cogwheel just here, hop into that, and you want to make sure all of your guns, apart from your snipers, is set to hip like I have just here. You want to make sure your sniper is on ADS. Simple as that. Now, next, we're going to go into custom layout. So if you want to click on the custom layout button just here, this is probably the best custom layout for beginners uh, using four finger claw. It's really simple to use, and I'm going to explain each part just really simple for you. So, obviously, we've got we're going to start with the left thumb just here. So, the left thumb is going to be your set your co uh, joystick just here. Now, the joystick really self explanatory. You want to make it sort of as small as possible as well. My scale is at 116%. I always keep the opacity at 100% on all of them just so I can see the actual buttons because, as you can see there, if you move it down. It actually grays it out so I want to keep those on 100% all the time now moving on to this four finger just here so as you can see I have my jump button just here and my crouch button just here so this makes it really easy just to be able to crouch and jump in the game so you want to make those as good as possible and with all of the stuff around the outside guys like this you want to make sure this is still visible but just all in the corner as well you've obviously got your left fire button there as well all I need to do is just change that to grey because I don't actually use the left fire button I only use the right fire button over here grenades as well I've got on that so I can just put the opacity on those really small as well um, simple as that you've got your map that I like to keep in the middle just so I can see it very clearly and then you've got all your settings and your running auto running and your chat just here so that makes it really really easy and simple um, so getting off that so we're going to move on to the right finger just here now this is the most important finger you have your fire button just here you want to make this sort of not very far away from the corner but far enough so you've still got your scope button just in the corner here because you're still going to use your scope button with your middle finger like that which I will show you uh, later on in the video so I've got my emote just up here as well. I've got my auto dagger up here as well. So if there's someone in front of me, I can quickly switch and I can attack them just like that. Um, and I've got my, um, obviously my operator ability on the right hand side here. And this grenade throw just here, I don't actually use either. So I'm just going to put the opacity on that one down as well. So it's invisible. Um, so that's basically it for the four finger on the right hand side. Now the thumb on the right hand side. Now this one's pretty simple as well. There's some things I don't actually need down here. So I've actually moved the entire um, sort of HP bar and the shield bar down to the bottom right hand side as well as my score streaks. This is really easy to sort of switch between. I've got my grenades just in the middle of those as well and then what you'll notice guys with the weapons you don't actually have to use both of these weapons so I could really just get rid of one of those but as they come together um, I can't really get rid of them so I'm going to leave them just there but when you switch between weapons you only need to press one of these guys because obviously you only have two weapons in your slot reload button is on my right thumb just here as well which is really easy and then obviously we've got the plant the bomb and search and destroy just there so I'll explain what I actually do with my fingers and thumbs just here Okay, so getting into the actual settings, guys. Here are my settings just here. I'm not going to go into them in too much detail because I've actually got that in a previous video. So if you want to just copy these settings, these are the optimal settings for Four Finger Claw in Call of Duty Mobile. So check these out.
Okay, so pulling these in action, guys, I'm going to break down exactly what I do to use my four-finger claw. Now, like I said, with the left thumb, it's really simple, obviously, just to move around with. I move my screen with my right thumb just here, so that's what you use to aim. Obviously, we've got the shoot button just here as well. I have hip fire on, but with the assault rifles, guys, now, again, I know this is a four-finger claw video, but the best way to aim using the hip fire, you could always have the hip fire automatically on, so when you shoot like that, it'll automatically scope in. But I've got mine off, so it's really simple. You can just literally click it with your left, uh, your right middle finger, just like that. So when you're against someone, just like that, you can quickly swift it. And you want to make sure all your sensitivity is correct for yourself as well. Uh, so as you can see, there's an enemy just there. And then all I do is Reload. I switch to reload just here. Obviously, you can jump really simple with the left finger just here and the crouch finger as well. We've got an enemy just here. So you can just literally slide as well if you're running. I've got auto sprint on as well, which is pretty cool. So someone shoot me just here. As you can see, you can literally just do this. And guys, this is all muscle memory. You will get used to this. It's really simple. Um, but again, it is all muscle memory. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you some gameplay of what it's like to put all of this in action it's gonna take you a while to actually get used to the four finger claw if you're not used to mobile games but again check out this because i've been playing mobile now for the past six months and it's only taken me a short while maybe a th two to three weeks to get used to this uh, layout so i'm going to show you some gameplay now of all of this put in action and hopefully it will help you guys out Sniper down! Sniper eliminated! It's too close. Sniper down! Sniper. We've taken the lead. Sniper eliminated! Sniper down! Sniper eliminated! Sniper down! We captured Alpha. Captured. We captured Bravo. They go down! Enemy in sight! Chasing We've back. taken the lead. Reloading. Recon standing by. Repeat, UAV recon is standing by. Target down. C. We're capturing Bravo. Target down. Hold on, stand by. So that's basically it guys so again thank you for watching this video i hope you take something from it let me know in the comments what you think and if it has helped you that would be amazing if we can get some likes on the video that would be great too make sure you press that subscribe button because we are still doing a 5,000 cod points giveaway at the end in the last stream of this month so make sure you subscribe make sure you get your notification bells on if you want to find out some more in-depth mobile settings and if you want to be able to snipe like a pro go and click on this video right here it'll help you improve your sniping skills and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching guys peace